Whoa, check that out. That is actually super cool. Oh man, that is super cool for the new Star Wars. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's no way I could afford to spend that much money on just a controller. Honestly, I could probably make my own. Actually, you know what? I can make even a better one. To start off, what you're gonna need is a white controller. And I will say right off the bat that I believe the sizing is a little bit different to the actual Star Wars Squadrons controller. So because of that, it is gonna be a little bit different, but overall, we're gonna make it look as close as possible as we can to the actual controller. So today we're gonna be focusing on the Xbox controller, but trust me, these methods can be easily adjusted and used for a PlayStation controller if that's what you're currently using. So to start off, what you're gonna to wanna to do is use a really thin screwdriver or something you can use to pry apart the shell because we're gonna to wanna to take the shell completely off the controller. This is gonna make it a whole lot easier. And I'm not gonna to go too into detail about this, but if you don't know how to actually do this, I will leave a link in the description on how to take the shell apart. It's actually really easy. So one piece of material you're gonna be using a lot for this is tape. And you don't wanna be using like scotch tape or duct tape, nothing like that. You're gonna want more like painter's tape, kind of like I have right here. So the first part we're gonna do is tape it off right down the middle. And this is gonna give us that look of like a helmet, as you can see on the actual controller. And you don't have to do this, but I'm kind of just rounding out the bottom of it with an exacto knife. Again, we're just trying to mimic this as close as we can. Now, the very first part, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna need some black shoe polish. As you can see, I've used mine up quite a bit. And this is just a little trick I learned over at Cosplay Chris's channel. And this is a method he's used a bunch and I've adapted it and it really works really well. And once you have a decent amount in there, just water it down just a little bit and that's just so it's not too thick and once you have that just kind of start dabbing the shoe polish just all over the controller honestly the messier the better that's what we want as you start dabbing it around you can see that i'm kind of focusing more on the actual controls the joysticks and the buttons that's what we want to be a little bit darker so i mean spread it throughout the entire thing but what you really want is to get a little bit darker up there when you do this, you may form some puddles, which are just a little too thick, which you don't want, but you can easily just get a paper towel and just dab those little spots away. Now taking a look at it, this looks pretty good so far. I mean, this is, you know, it's it's not looking like it's brand new out of the box. It's kind of that dirty kind of, you know, almost like it's been through a battle type look and that's exactly what we want. Next, what you're gonna wanna need is a sponge. Specifically, you want a sponge that has a little bit of rougher side because we're gonna scrape off some of that excess stuff that we don't want. Just like when we were applying this, we just want to kind of crudely just start scrubbing all over the controller. Don't scrub too hard, but we just want a gentle soft scrub to kind of start scratching away some of those parts that we don't want. More specifically, we want to scrub down where the handle parts go, where you know your hands are actually gonna be. Because when it comes time, when we come to paint it later, we don't want it too dark or else that's gonna make it a little difficult to paint those uh, orange stripes on later. And then also by doing this, it's gonna make it look a little bit more scratchy. This is a benefit for what we're going for. We're going for that more, you know, worn down, almost Almost like this thing's been through a battle look. Once you've done that, you can pull off the tape in the middle and you can see that we've definitely got, you know, this is a pretty good start so far. It's starting to look like a Rebel's helmet. Now what I wanna do is bring out a little bit more detail in the buttons. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab a paintbrush, put some black paint on it, rub off some of that excess because we don't want a thick layer of paint. We just want just this thin layer of black paint on our brush right now. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start dabbing it around those circle button areas. You know, all the buttons, the joysticks. We don't wanna brush it, we wanna just kinda of dab it. And by doing that, it almost makes it look like it has a scorch mark in a way. It almost looks like a blaster scorch mark, you know, just skate across the controller. And if some areas are just a little too thick same thing we could just take a paper towel and just dab away some of those areas so it's not too thick so same thing with the back side just kind of just start brushing you know the, the paint the black paint just kind of crudely just around the corners of the back side but once that dries what we're going to do is we're going to take our sponge again on the rough side and just kind of start rubbing away on those parts where i painted it black and again by doing this it takes away some of that excess dark paint because again we don't want it too dark we just want it to look like it's roughly dirty with the you know the rough side of the sponge it's going to give it that more scratched up look which is exactly what we want I mean just look at this is looking pretty sweet so far once we got the overall dirty you know kind of scratched up looks done now we can start painting this is where the fun part begins and we're gonna go ahead and start with the black and yellow stripes and as you can see I've used our painters tape and just kind of marked off the area where we're gonna want to paint for the yellow and we're gonna want to be using a pretty bright yellow use the the bright yellow you have and depending on the paint that you're using you may need to be putting one or two extra coats it just depends but that's no problem because usually this paint dries pretty fast 
it's looking really good, but it's just a little too bright yellow. So same thing, I'm gonna take a lightly black brush, gently scrape it across the top. Again, this is gonna give it just kind of like a scratched look, you know, slightly dirty, you know, because we want this to look like, you know, it's been worn down a bit. If you can find the thinnest painter's tape you can find, this one's actually pretty thin and I think it's gonna work for us. You can even cut this in half and make it even thinner. But for right now, I think this is gonna work just fine for us. So then you can just place that tape right over to give yourself a few stripes right along the top side, maybe at like a 45 degree angle. And once we have that, we can just take our black paint and just start brushing right across to give ourselves those black stripes. So once it dries, just go ahead and pull off that tape and we've got some slick looking stripes up top right now. Now we're gonna be working on the orange stripes. And right now we're gonna be working on the one at the very bottom. And as I mentioned earlier, I believe these controllers are a little bit smaller in size. So I could not find enough room to put two stripes on the bottom, but there is enough room to put at least one stripe on the bottom. And I'm just kind of showing you how I tape that off right now. This wasn't too hard. And once you have that all taped up, go ahead and just find yourself some bright orange paint. As you can see, I'm not using anything super expensive and then just start brushing it on there. For me, I had to put at least two coats on here to get that orange to really pop. Now, as I'm pulling this off, you can see that some of the paint has actually seeped underneath the tape, which actually is gonna help us in the long run. Cause again, we're not going for the clean, you know, straight out of the box look. However, there were some spots that were just a little too thick for my taste. So all I did was just took an X-Acto knife and just kind of scraped off some of those areas where it seeped just a little too much. Next up, here's the fun part of putting the orange stripes on the side. And again, our controller is a little bit smaller. So to get everything to fit, you may have to make the stripes just a little bit thinner, but overall it's gonna look exactly the same. You just take our orange paint and just start painting it across. Now, of course, don't go too far down because we don't want that to be touching our orange stripe at the very bottom. And once it's dry, we can pull off that tape and reveal our nice orange stripes. These are beautiful, looking awesome. Just like our other one, there was a couple spots where it was a little thick, but I was able to scrape those off easily with my X-Acto knife. And if you're worried about scratching your controller when you do that, don't be. As long as you're, you know, just gently scraping it off, it won't affect your controller in any way. So don't be afraid to scratch it off. Now this next part is a little bit more difficult, but not necessary. But if you want the stripes to actually connect to the backside and wrap around the entire controller, all you have to do is just take the front piece and then the back grips and then just connect them together and you can easily see like where the stripes would connect and then you can just tape them off right there and then just paint those in as well. Next up we're going to be working on a little bit more detail. We're going to be working on those V marks or they're actually the kill marks that are at the very bottom of the controller. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. You can either draw this in yourself and then just paint it in that way or you can easily make yourself a stencil. And I realized the circles for where the joysticks are are a perfect size for this. So all I did was just took it, just laid it down, took a pen, just made a circle right there and then boom, cut it out and right there you got yourself an easy circle stencil. Now be sure when you put the stencil on there that you put it more towards the bottom because we want to leave a little bit room on top. That way we can put our V through the circle. Once that's done drying, we can put our V template right over and then just fill that in with black paint. Once it's dry, we can reveal our first kill mark. That's looking pretty awesome. And uh, once you do that, of course, just duplicate the same thing on the other side. So now we're gonna see why our stripes did not need to be perfect. And here's why, because what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take our nice handy dandy sponge and we're just gonna slightly start scraping off areas of the controller to help give it that more, you know, worn down and scratched up battle look. And we're gonna run this over the entire controller. Now, don't scratch too much. If you scratch too much of it off, you know, you're gonna get rid of, you know, too much of your orange stripes and it's not gonna look as good. If you want to be a little bit more detailed of how your scratch marks are going to look, you can easily take something sharp and just kind of gently just kind of scrape away alongside those paint marks. By doing this, you're going to give it a more delivered edge of, you know, some damage that's been done onto the controller. After you got all your details done, I mean, this is just looking absolutely gorgeous. We've got a lot of our scrape marks along the stripes and we've got our blaster scorch marks around the controls. You know, this is definitely looking really good so far. 
Now to give it just one final detail, if you can find yourself a thicker brush and same thing, just, just a dab of black paint we want, just a tiny bit. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take that and just kind of brush it along the controller just very lightly. Here, we're gonna be focusing more on the sides. You could put a couple brushes across the actual controller itself, but we wanna focus more on the sides. That's what we want. We wanna give it a little bit more detail just along the edges of the controller. Now here's just one last little detail, just a little sprinkle you can throw on top of this controller. You can easily pull off the thumbsticks. You can grab yourself some silver or metallic paint. We want just a dab of it and just gently brush it across the edges of the thumbstick. By doing this, it's gonna help bring out all those little grooves, all those little details around the thumbstick. Again, this is not necessary, but it's just a little added sprinkle that you can add into your overall look. Once we have that, the next step is spraying it down with some clear gloss spray. And honestly, you don't need much for this, just a couple sprays. You don't want to put it on there too thick. And what's this going to do is it's basically going to preserve everything that we've done. It's going to preserve all the paint, all the detail. It's going to make sure it doesn't scrape off or do anything like that. And it's also going to give it just a little bit more of a smoother touch once it's finished. And then once it's dry, we have the final reveal. guys this looks pretty awesome i mean just check out the front and the back just overall this just looks amazing and i'll tell you what it only took me one day to make this so i want to share this with you guys because when that controller first came out i thought it looked awesome but i just did not want to spend that much money on it so i thought hey you know what let's just make our own now i'll tell you what i would love to see your guys's versions of this if you check in the description you can check out my instagram follow me there and if you do make your own version of this i would love it if you tag me in your post because i would love to see the the controllers that you guys make up and as you know if you are not subscribed yet go ahead and click that subscribe button i thank you guys so much for checking out today's video and i will see you guys next time